hello hello everyone welcome back to the must see faith channel i hope you had an amazing week and year so far and as you can see my energy is a bit up because i feel so good that i've even sitting here recording this video because the effort it took to get this video recorded this week like listen I'm just happy to be here recording the video, actually sticking to a schedule and trying to get these videos recorded and posted. So before we get into what we're talking about today in this video, I'm feeling good also because two things on my vision board have already come to pass for the year and God is just showing off. Listen, won't he do it? Listen, he's been so good and yeah like i'm just happy i'm excited i'm grateful so thankful for what he's doing what he's going to do through you know this video and through the blessings that he has brought into my life which also comes with a lot of responsibility so that's just a quick testimony and if you haven't made your vision board yet you're slacking, okay? Time to get on top of it. As you can see from the title of the video, we will be talking about patiently waiting. Now, this is something that I am constantly working on, constantly. Even the topic that I will be talking about today is an area where I still struggle in, and it's also related to the last video. So, patiently waiting. This could be in any area, in areas such as your finances, your life, your career, your relationships. For me, it's been a consistent up and down and roller coaster in terms of waiting has been in the terms of relationships before we go any further i want to say a prayer dear heavenly father thank you so much for allowing me to even be here sitting down recording this video dear god lord i pray that it reaches those who need to hear it dear god and that the words that i speak be acceptable to you, dear God, and it be something that needs to be shared and needs to be told to the to the viewers and the listeners, dear God. But I pray that you know you soften the, the hearts of the listeners and the viewers so that they are able to receive this and are able to implement these things into their lives, dear God. And even help me, dear God. Help me to patiently wait in all areas of my life so that I will be able to receive the blessings that you have for me in the time that they were meant to be. In Jesus name I pray amen so I was kind of hesitant to even talk about patiently waiting for relationships because I don't want to like keep on reiterating the point about relationships however it's still quite relevant to my life so we're gonna talk about patiently waiting in relationships and just patiently waiting in general so let's start off with the scripture in Psalms 103 verses 2 to 5 it says Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. So this scripture is basically telling me that, you know, we can be confident and know that God wants to give us good things. He wants to give us the, the desires of our hearts. The only issue with that is sometimes we tend to forget and want things when we want it instead of in the time that God has it for us. This should help us to wait patiently because we can rest in the fact that God wants to give it to us. He wants to give us good things, whether that be in a relationship. He wants, if, if that is a desire we truly have like I do, he wants to give us that desire he wants to give us the financial freedom that we might be hoping for or the job that we might be hoping for or even anything good that can also bring glory to God's kingdom he wants to be able to give that to us so we can rest in the fact and know that you know he wants that for us I want it to there's just gonna be a space in between now and that time when I actually get it or when you actually get it hopefully you know, in times where it can seem hard and we want to go ahead and do it ourselves, we can rest and know that God will provide. He will do it in His timing. And I think also in the times when we're patiently waiting, like I'm going to keep bringing this up all year, having a vision for what you're waiting for. 
in the meantime and knowing what to expect when you get it the responsibilities that come with it just being in a state of preparation in the meantime will also show I guess to God that you are getting closer to being in a place where you're even able to receive the good thing that he has for you the thing that you're patiently waiting for so like I've mentioned previously in terms of relationships I had to ask myself these questions like did I have a vision for what I wanted my relationship to look like was it inspired by God and his truth or was it something that I had concocted <laughs> is that even a word in my own head or is it a fairy tale that I had in my own head do you know what kind of values and characteristics you're looking for in this person that you want to be in a relationship with now that's just in terms of relationships but it can also be in terms of let's say a future job do you know the kind of work that you want to be be into do you know the kind of environment you want to work in do you know how far you want to go in this next job going back to talking about me being in my single season another thing that i've had to really remind myself about is my ultimate focus my ultimate reason for waiting and a hard truth is there's a certain level of freedom a certain level of worry that I don't have because I am single and in the Bible it says in 1st Corinthians 7 verses 32 to 35 it says I would like you to be free from concern an unmarried man is concerned about the Lord's affairs how he can please the Lord but a married man is concerned about the affairs of this world how he can please his wife and his interests are divided an unmarried woman or virgin is concerned about the Lord's affairs her aim is to be devoted to the Lord in both body and spirit but a married woman is concerned about the affairs of this world how can she please her husband I am saying this not to restrict you but that you may live in a right way in undivided devotion to the Lord this scripture is showing me that you know in my single season this is the time where i devote my attention to doing what the lord has called me to do and that is recording these videos serving in my church serving the people in my church like really working on my relationship with god this is a lot this this time is allowing me to focus on those things and work on those things before i even have to think about our relationship and another human being Obviously, these things will not stop when I get into a relationship, but what allowed me to build this habit of serving now, working on my relationship with God now, and all these things, when a, another person comes along, this will already be set as a foundation in my life. This will already be the thing that's going to help keep my relationship steady and flourishing and blossoming. Um, with God so that's related to like me patiently waiting for relationships but I feel like however this applies to you in your life it can be adapted to fit into whatever circumstance you're in before I go though I would like to share some more scriptures and hopefully let the Bible speak for itself um, in the last few minutes of this video so in Proverbs 16 verse 32 it says better to be patient than a warrior and better have self-control than to capture a city Romans 15 verse 1 says we who are powerful need to be patient with the weakness of those who do not have power and not please ourselves let's also don't forget that patience is a fruit of the spirit so if you're lacking patience pray that the Holy Spirit then fills you up so that you're able to have more patience so it says in Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23 but the fruit of the Spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control and the reason why love is definitely very important in terms of patience is because in the Bible it says in 1st Corinthians verse 13 to 4 love is patient love is kind it isn't jealous, it doesn't brag, it isn't arrogant. This scripture is also relevant because in times where we're waiting for something, we're focused on something happening in the future that can come with worries and anxious thoughts. And in the Bible it says in Philippians 4 verse 6, Do not be anxious about anything, rather bring up all your requests to God in prayers and petitions along with giving thanks. I think I'll leave it there in terms of scripture. At the end of it, in terms of patiently waiting, all of it comes down to prayer praying to God to help you to wait praying to God to fill you with his Holy Spirit so that you're able to exhibit one of the fruits of the Spirit which is patience praying that he will reveal to you the good thing that he has coming to you and that you're able to rest in that fact 
and be content with waiting to receive that good thing. Sometimes it can be very difficult to patiently wait because things are happening for people all the time. And sometimes we can be like, God, I just want it to happen to me. Why can't it be me? But on the flip side of that, if we change our perspective and realize that, yes, if God can do it for that person, he can also do it for you. He can also do it for me. So I hope this video is encouraging to you. I hope that, you know, you're able to continue moving forward and patiently waiting for the good things that God has for you in your life. And that, you know, pray for me that I also conti continue to have patience to wait for, you know, the things that I've been hoping for. With that being said, I hope you have a blessed day, a blessed week, and a blessed life. Love you all and take care. Bye!